All right, buddy, I gotta go. Daddy's gotta go catch the game train. I'm gonna miss you. Can you give me a fist bump? Pound it, Jasper. Jasper, pound it. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, bye, buddy. All right, so so far I've been to about four different gyms, but I haven't really found the gym that I wanna continuously train at, just because there's so many different things that go into choosing a gym, like proximity, the equipment, the cleanliness, the hours, the people, the staff, like everything. Especially for me, I have to be able to film in there quite easily. So we'll see, there's like a new CrossFit gym opening up like down the street from where I live. It's not down the street, it's like a 10 minute walk. But there's actually a community center right down the street, which is I'm gonna try next. Uh, so we'll see, wish me luck guys. What do you want? I know, I was going for so long, a full hour. Oh my goodness. So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys to a 100% zero waste store called Nada. So if you guys saw my why I left my hometown video, um, I briefly showed myself, you know, refilling some soaps, cleaners, etc. And a lot of you guys had to quest, not a lot of you guys, maybe like, I got like three questions. But regardless, a few of you guys had questions about how it works, um, is it cheaper? So today I'm gonna to be answering all those questions, taking you guys with me. Now you guys already know that I am not not 100% zero waste. I cannot fit all of my trash into a mason jar. I would say like 80 to 90% of my groceries have plastic or waste, you know, included. However, I do buy my bulk items like rice, pasta, and some produce um, at the zero waste stores or without any packaging to reduce that. But also when it comes to things like my shampoo, body wash, dish detergent, laundry detergent, uh, all-purpose cleaner, um, I do get those from the refill store. And yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think that maybe, let's say you go through two bottles of all of those things that I mentioned in a year, over a lifetime, that's a lot of plastic bottles reduced. Um, and this channel isn't about being perfect. I'm not 100% plant-based. I'm not 100% zero waste. I'm not 100% of anything. Humans in general, I feel like are just very shitty. And this channel is about being less shitty. So getting things from the bulk store, getting things refilled is just one way that I am trying to be less shitty. And if a 24 year old male millennial like myself can do this, who is essentially stereotyped to be the laziest group in society, I'm sure you at home can take some of this home as well. Can take some of this home as well. You know what I'm talking about. Let's go to the grocery store. But first, of course, I'm not gonna go to the grocery store in my gym hat looking like a bum. No, I'm gonna switch to my regular hat. Okay, now let's go. Are you ready to go on a zero waste grocery store walk? Yeah. All right, so a few things I'll be taking with me is an empty glass container as well as some produce bags. Now, you do not have to get these fancy jars and glasses you see on Pinterest because it looks nice. Use whatever you have, like I'm talking empty, like jam jars, little Tupperware you have, anything. See what you have lying around and just make use of what you have because not only is it a lot cheaper, it's a lot less wasteful. All right, let's go. <laughs> Right, so the very first thing when you go to like a zero waste or a refill or bulk store is tear your container so that you only pay for what you are purchasing and not the weight of the container. So for most places, the clerk actually tears it for you. It's like a long line, it's kind of cumbersome. But at Nana, they have these like little NFC tags which you just tap, tear your container, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty seamless. Ready to go? 
So after you shop at Nada, you get your receipt emailed to you. So let me just go through what everything uh, costs. So first we got three large potatoes in here for a dollar ninety. Then I got me some body lotion. Now this is about half full. This is nine dollar forty cents, which will last me well over a month. Uh, but the only thing is that like it's not quite that cheap because the brands that they carry are the organic fair trade, like locally sourced, handmade uh, body lotion, which personally I don't care for, but I think it's both an issue of A, like the suppliers of, I don't know, Lubriderm, Aveeno, like you know, it's just like the very generic stuff you find at regular drugstore, they probably don't make uh, like a large container option that these stores can carry. But also maybe the people who are also shopping at these stores don't want like the generic stuff. So I don't know, honestly, if I could just get a generic body lotion um, from the refill store, that would be awesome, but they only carry the bougie stuff. So that's what I have to get, um, which is why it's a little bit more expensive. Then this was a surprise pickup because I didn't even need this. Uh, they had 50% off bread, not only regular bread, sourdough bread um, at the till because it was like a day old or something. So I got this nice sourdough for only $3. And guys, bread without the plastic wrap, like it sounds like a no brainer, but at the same time, like I just don't see that happening at all. Just bread. Did I take a bite without slicing it? Mmm. Look at that bread. So as you guys saw, Nada carries a lot of like the typical bulk pantry food items, but they carry a lot of like household items as well, like cleaners, also like hygiene products, like bar shampoos and those like toothpaste tabs. Um, they also have like a cold refrigerated section where you can just get a section of cheese, milk, eggs, they also have like sauces. Also what's really cool is that they have their own kitchen that they make like smoothies, salad and bowls with the produce that's gonna go bad. So they don't even have waste in that sense because food waste is a massive issue that not a lot of people are talking about. Now I am not saying that you have to go to a refill store um, to be less shitty because not everyone has access to a refill store. But I think the message I wanna convey is that, you know, just try your best to do whatever you can that is within your means um, just to reduce your waste. Um, a lot of grocery stores nowadays have a bulk section. So even if you can substitute your rice or your pasta and get it at the bulk section instead of in a plastic package, then I think that's one step closer to being less shitty, which is the ultimate goal of this channel. Um, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, it sounds like a foreign concept, but it's actually very... Um, I don't know, it's just like a no-brainer, especially on Nada, they just do everything so seamlessly. Um, everything from the NFC tags to just the way you check out, everything is done so well. And I think that is a big part of making it accessible and expandable. That was my take on the zero waste store. Let me know in the comment section if you guys go to a zero waste store or a bulk store, what do you like about it? What do you hate about it? Um, Jasper, do you have anything else to say? No, he's just licking his pee pee. Do you have anything else to add on? <laughs> Jasper, has a, I don't know if you guys can see a little mohawk going on over here. Here, let's make that a little bit. <gasps> wow, Jasper, you are so freaking cool, buddy. All right, give me a goodbye transition. Three, two, one.